Hi there, everyone. It's uh, Celso on the Florida Divide. Uh, I am here in uh, Lake Mary, uh, just leaving now, um, heading towards Paisley. Uh, just left the outspoken bicycle shop. They uh, took care of me, and uh, I have a straight wheel again, all the spokes. Um, he actually gave me uh, some uh, salt um, lick thing, uh, which is pretty awesome, a little free bonus, another uh, trail magic. And uh, so yesterday, wow, yesterday, uh, really hard uh, single track um, coming through uh, Seminole Ranch, wildlife management and wetlands, and then, uh, oh yes, Little Big Econ. Wow, Little Big Econ. And uh, so come through there with a broken spoke, broken saddle, broken mount, uh, GPS mount, and light mount. Uh, I broke a strap on my uh, frame bag. Um, not a design fault. I think it got caught on something and it just ripped. Um, but still holding in place. Uh, so that's good and a really really tough day uh, I was coming uh, through the end of the uh, little big econ and just flowing through that single track which is pretty nice rolling and uh, it started storming lightning I mean big thick uh, rain uh, I was kind of undercover, so I kept on going, didn't stop uh, to put my rain jacket on, and I uh, didn't have any cover to stop. I uh, figured I was going to get cold if I did stop, so I kept on pushing uh, through this lightning, thundering uh, rain, and uh, all of a sudden it opened up a little bit. Uh, this straightaway on the path and it was kind of open and I was just pumping and hail start coming down I mean blackberry size hail it was humongous I could see it flying from behind me you know on the either side of my eyes just like bullets flying from the sky uh, start pounding on my head and it, it hurt uh, I quickly uh, I had nowhere to duck uh, there were no big trees or anything, it was just like pine trees. So I uh, duck behind a pine tree, still sitting on my bike. I'm leaning against the, the, the pine tree, pull my back back up to protect my back. And I was just getting pounded on my head, on my arms, um, and it just got and get, started getting worse and thicker, hail. Uh, so I had to jump off the bike, dropped it, ran to the next uh, pine tree, had a bigger trunk, and I just kneeled on my knees and ducked, uh, protecting my back with my backpack. And I probably stayed there for about 15 minutes, uh, waiting for it to stop hailing. It finally stopped hailing, uh, still pouring down rain. Got back on the bike, and by this time, uh, the trail was just a river flow of water, uh, raging water, incredible. Um, I got to this footbridge that had to cross uh, on my rear wheel. Uh, it was slippery slope, so slippery. Um, it had kind of a little bit of an inclined ramp getting up to it, and it was, it was hard to shuffle through that. And uh, then all of a sudden I came out onto this uh, grassy uh, side road. It was a grassy uh, uh, berm of this road and I stopped. It was kind of dark. So I stopped putting my lights on, on my helmet and on my bike and I turned all the lights on. All of a sudden, you know, I hear this pickup truck is raging, coming towards me, honking and honking and honking came honking, came, you know, looping around the side berm and all the way around, I'm like, who, who is this guy? What the hell is he doing? And here comes out Skeegee Pedals with uh, some awesome trail magic, uh, the part that I needed for my uh, seat. And uh, <clears throat> I got a Coke and uh, 
we chit chatted for a little bit and uh, I went on my way. Uh, I got to Oviedo and there's a motel there and I stopped in and the guy said uh, he was full. Uh, but before he said that he like kind of looked at me up and down so I think he didn't really want me there. I was dirty, I was wet. So anyways, uh, I pulled up my phone and uh, Sorry, so uh, I pulled out my phone and my phone's dead. It got soaking wet. I didn't realize there was a hole in my Ziploc bag. And, and now I'm like, damn, what the hell do I do? I can't find another place, can't find another hotel. I'm just shit out of luck. Uh, so I looked at my notes that I had and uh, had another you know, 10 to 15 miles to get to my next hotel stop, which is, was uh, Lake Mary. So I just kept on going. And uh, so I made it to uh, Lake Mary and uh, stopped at a hotel, um, blow dry my phone, and it came back alive. So it's, the phone is back on and it's good to go. And uh, so I'm just, I'm, I'm out of here. I've talked too much. Uh, so I got to go. Uh, I think I've done so far 525 miles. Uh, and uh, yesterday I rode about 62, 63 miles of rough terrain. And uh, we'll see what happens now. My bike computer is dead also. Um, so I, I'll rely on my GPS for mileage uh, from here on out. Um, I'll check back with you later. Thanks.